How to solo ho ho. Ho ho is going to be very similar to Moltres, a Moltres that came out way back in August. Same counters because Moltres and Mo o, Mo. <laughs> Ho Ho and Moltres are both fire and flying types, so you're definitely going to use the same counters that you used for Moltres for Ho Ho. Now, before we talk about the counters, let me just explain to you guys that Ho Ho is not going to be the strongest fire type attacker in the game. I know it has the highest attack stat among all other fire types, but its access to uh, its moves does not make it the best fire type attacker overall. In fact, it only has one fire type move, Fire Blast, which is not even a good fire type charge move compared to many others out there. The magic number for Ho O -Oh is going to be 2222. 100% IV is going to be 2222. So remember that. Ho O -Oh is going to have double weakness to Golem's rock type moves. Rock Throw Stone Edge would be its best move. Rock Throw Rock Blast is a very close second as well. You can also use your Oma Stars with legacy moves like Rock Throw and Rock Slide. If you don't have a legacy move Oma Star, you can also use its other water type or rock type moves. They will work fine as well. Vaporeons are going to be good and strong against Ho O -Oh as well. You can also rely on your Tyranitars and Dragonites for your generalist attacker. Now, Tyranitar, I wouldn't recommend it too much because Tyranitar is only going to be dealing a lot of damage through Bite and it only has one good move set with Bite Stone Edge so if your Tyranitar does not have Stone Edge obviously don't use Tyranitar if it does have Stone Edge I still wouldn't put it as my first choice use your Golems, use your Vaporeons first and then maybe rely on your Tyranitars try not to use Rhydon even if it has Stone Edge because Rhydons with Stone Edge are great but its fast move is going to be Mud Slap, which is a ground type move, and it's not going to be effective against Ho O's flying ability. So try not to use Rhydon. They're going to be very slow and ineffective most of the time until it deals the Stone Edge damage, which it probably only will get off one before the Rhydon faints. Now, apart from the Golems and the Vaporeons and the Oma Stars, I highly, highly recommend using Electric type Pokemon because those are going to deal extra super effective damage against the Ho O's flying ability. So electric types are also going to be resistant to a lot of Ho-Oh's moves. We don't know whether or not Niantic is going to change the moves or not, but based on the current information that we have on Ho-Oh's movesets, it is going to be better off with using your electric types because they're going to be resistant against Ho-Oh's moves. Of the five Ho-Oh's moves that are available just like any other Pokemon, two of them are you know, we can just count them out because they're not going to deal as much damage and they're not going to be super effective against the counters you use. So Extra Sensory and Fire Blast are out, let's not talk about those. One of Ho's fast moves is Steel Wing and Steel Wing is strong against Rock types. So this is going to be very, very nerve-wracking for your Golems because they are going to take a lot of damage if the Ho-Oh has Steel Wing. So be careful of that. Try to dodge if you can once in a while, especially if you're in a big group. Otherwise, your golems are going to go down fast. Of the other two charge moves that Ho-Ho has access to, the first one is Brave Bird. Now, Brave Bird is a flying type, not super effective against any of the counters that I just mentioned, but Brave Bird is the strongest DPS-wise move in the game. And Ho-Ho is flying type, so it's going to get stab benefit as well, which means Brave Bird is going to wreck the Pokemon that you use against Ho-Oh regardless of the fact that it does not deal super effective damage. So be sure to dodge Brave Bird if you can, if not, it's probably going to deal a lot of damage. The last and most interesting charge move that Ho-Oh has access to is Solar Beam, which is a grass type incredibly powerful move that we all know about. Now this Solar Beam is going to Definitely wreck your golems, your Omastars, your Vaporeons. So definitely, definitely you want to dodge the Solar Beam if the Ho-Oh has Solar Beam. Now electric types don't take as much damage from grass type moves as you know golems and Vaporeons would do, and this is why I recommend going in with your army of Raikou or Zapdos or even Jolteons. Now I wouldn't recommend Zapdos because Zapdos moves are too slow and 
although it has a high attack stat it has an equally low defense stat so it's going to take a lot of damage regardless like I said earlier, it's completely in Niantic's hands to change Ho-Oh's moves if they want to, but irregardless of the fact whether or not they do change the moves or not, the best option, the best counters to use against Ho-Oh are still the ones that I just mentioned. So again, Golems, Omastar, Vaporeon, Raikou, and you can use Tyranitars and Dragonites as your backup as well. So remember guys, always dodge the charge move ho, -Ho is going to be tricky to beat especially in smaller groups especially if it has solar beam which is going to be incredibly incredibly powerful against the rock types and the water types that you you'll be using if it's coupled with steel wing it's going to be even more difficult to beat so be careful of that always dodge the charge move and uh happy catching ho, -Ho everyone see you in the next one